Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And we continue our discussion with Gazelle, with Shiri, and with Gregory. And um, this this literally was happening as we had the conversation. And we're launching a LinkedIn page. And so, as we said, or as I said yesterday, if you can, so if you're Basically, women are getting this a hell of a lot. So if you can send screenshots, all the messages you've been sent in the comments below, what we're doing is we're starting a LinkedIn page called LinkedIn Me Too. And we're going to um, put this abuse front and center of a conversation in the same way as it occurred in the film industry or in the music industry because sexual violence is something which is endemic for it to be so ubiquitous is horrifying and so i urge you to please leave your comments because once we start to talk about this more and more then people will start to say oh yeah, I didn't speak up to defend that person. Oh, I let that person get away with that sexist comment. Because you have to be proactive to generate the society that we deserve to live in. All right, enjoy the show. My friend, that they keep asking me, what's your religion? What you do? Who's your God? Come on, we are not here, you know, to talk about God or what's my, who's my God, who's your God. It's none of it. All of us business, okay? What makes you... It, what, yes? what do you think is the reason why they would ask you that question? To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I even ask them, okay, uh, why you are asking me that question? Because it's so important for me that uh, who is my love? Mm. Your love? What do you mean? You know, this kind of conversation, uh, I had mostly, you know, from uh, older guys, like those who are over 50, mm. not young guys. Only once I received this kind of messages from one young guy, he even threatened me that I will tell everyone that you killed me and you are a murderer. I was like, I don't know. You know how, how, how that started? Uh, as you know, I'm into online business. Um, I'm healthcare recruiter. So um, anyone, uh, uh, are, uh, any any job seekers I meet, if they need my help, I will suggest them. Okay, if you want, I can sponsor you. You can promote health wellness products with us. The factory is in the US and blah blah blah. Then um, one uh, one person from Saudi Arabia that I'm pretty sure that location was fake. Uh, he was like, okay, uh, yeah, I know your company. I know what you do. Now I fall in love with you. I said, um, sorry, I'm taken. Uh, what do you mean I'm taken? <laughs> what do you mean I'm taken? I said, uh, it's clear I'm taken. And you know, I'm pretty sure your your husband or your fiance or your boyfriend, I don't know, anyone uh, he's going to be, he doesn't love you as much as I do. You know, he just met me for three days. You know, the third day, he fell in love with me. Then what he did, I blocked him, you know, because he, he was sending me some annoying messages. And he was the only person with, uh, um, uh, how can I say, with spawn picture. You know, he has he sent me a picture um, of himself. Yeah. Then uh, I was like, okay, but because, you know, to be honest, I can't tolerate. I, I, I'm not capable for this kind of things. I react immediately. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. block. I blocked that person. Then Let what me... he did... Go on. Yes? Sorry, no, go on. What he okay. did. And then, he, he, then he created uh, another account with a girl, with a, with a picture of a girl. Then the girl, she said, yeah, I'm, her, I'm, her, I'm his sister. Um, look, now you did something to my brother. My brother, now he's in hospital after one day. My brother is in hospital and now, uh, you know, he, uh, he tried to suicide. Then... Um, now I am here to tell everyone that you are a murderer and you killed my brother. I said, please do that right now. I am waiting for your message. You can connect all of my connections. Tell them I'm a murderer, okay? You report me as a murderer. I'm not scared of you. Who are you? Mm -hmm. You are a spammer. You are a scammer. I don't know what can I call these kind of stupid people. 
then you are going to call me murder okay i'm so yeah. happy to be a murder of some uh useless people like you. yeah absolutely <laughs> as a result i would say i'm just going to uh share the screen and show you um an, an article uh about the amount of sexual abuse and picture sharing at school this lady here set up a website called everyone's invited and in a 10-day period she had over 50 uh, which we'll say here have a listen to this as the report very, very much highlights there is a huge gap between incidences and reporting and we believe that um, implementing some kind of anonymous system um, available in schools of reporting would actually really help young people and pupils feel more able to share and come forward with these experiences. We have now have 15,554 testimonies on the Everyone's Invited website, and these are all anonymous testimonies. Um, and yeah, we just see that it's just become abundantly clear that anonymity is very crucial in um, allowing survivors to share. This problem is everywhere and it's in all of society. And I don't think the burden should be only placed on schools. I think everyone has a responsibility in tackling this problem. I think parents also have a huge responsibility in educating their, their children. And this can begin really early on. Um, it could start with just instilling important values such as empathy and boundaries and introducing the concept of consent. Um, and I'd really like to see schools and parents working more closely together in the future. But I think everyone in society, in all sectors, could be doing a lot better in, the, in, in this area. So that is a, uh, there's a, this blew up as a story in the UK because, so the article says that in the last two years, between 2018, 2020, there were 13,000 reported cases of sexual abuse in school we know that rape is only ever reported about five percent of the time because of victim shaming and the way the legal process works it's fucked up and i just you know and this thing this story that i just showed you the clip from of the thirteen thousand reported incidents over those two years 2,000 of them were the perpetrator and the victim below 10. 